WFNN. Headline News Update. And we're uh, on for the update at 3 p.m. today. Tom will be in in just a minute. Uh, the S&P 500, uh, 3955, uh, five, uh, what's called 3956, up about 1.5%. Of course, this is one of these days where um, you have to know that there are some other trends going on. In this case, one of the, one of the well, actually the largest options expiration uh, in over 10 years uh, going on today. So I'm not going to uh, say that uh, as a trend, we're going to get a big signal out here. There may just be far too many people shorting uh, into options expiration. Uh, we were looking um, in the show uh, earlier at 2 o'clock about, you know, 80% chance you were going to at least close above 39.26 and some change. Uh, that we got a little bit more here may just be when I look at the end of the day, too many people shorting. Um, and that may be a thing that you want to look at um, and know that when everybody else has the same idea as you, i.e. we're all going south, maybe you just need to wait a few more days. I've always had an opinion uh, that goes back early on to my first days of shorting over 22 years ago. And that is, I'm going to be three hours early. I'm going to be three days early. I'm going to be th three weeks early. I'm going to be three months early. Uh, generally, you're going to be, uh, when you want to go short or you're thinking that it's a bearish market, uh, a lot of times a great thing to do is take an aspirin, go walk the dog, uh, until something else happens because it you almost always get signals for a lower market right before you get squeezed out. In the case, you know, NASDAQ up 2.2%. Uh, uh, again, some of this may be a little bit of, uh, of icing on the cake from the Fed member being out at noon today, uh, talking the market up quite a bit. Uh, now, that will be the end of the Fed blabbing until their next meeting. So we're going to have a fairly decent quiet period without them both trying to talk the market up and down. That may be a little bit of uh, the market taking a breather here today, knowing that these guys are in the rearview mirror. Volume is not all that exciting. Options roll over Monday and Tuesday. Big uh, probably decisions coming Wednesday and Thursday on earnings. Be back in just a few minutes.